What is the formula for the nth term of the sequence 54, 18, 6, and so on? So there's two kinds of sequences, remember. There's arithmetic, arithmetic, and geometric. And in an earlier problem, we talked about arithmetic sequences. And we talked about how between each of the terms of an arithmetic sequence, there's what's called a common difference. So the same number is being added or subtracted as you go from one term to the next. The difference between an arithmetic and a geometric sequence is that with geometric, instead of having a common difference, you have a common ratio, which means that the same number is being multiplied or divided as you go from one term to the next. So instead of thinking of it as division, let's think of it as always being multiplication, but that sometimes that fraction can be less than one. So in other words, suppose you had a really simple sequence like 1, 2, 4, 8, 16. The common ratio would be 2, because to get from 1 to 2, you multiply by 2. To get from 2 to 4, you multiply by 2. To get from 4 to 8, you multiply by 2. So the common ratio would be 2. And oftentimes you'll hear this common ratio described as r. So lowercase r is the, the variable that we'll use for our common ratio. So in this case, we have the numbers getting smaller. It's going from 54 to 18 to 6. So you can think of that as division by 3, or you can think of it as multiplication by 1 third. And that's the way we're going to think of it. So we're going to say our r value, our common ratio, is 1 third. All right, so now with that in mind, the formula for a geometric sequence is the nth term, a sub n. And this is something that you should have memorized, but it's also something that should feel pretty intuitive to you from doing practice problems like these. So hopefully this isn't coming as a surprise. Uh, if it is, definitely find some practice problems to supplement with. But this is the basic formula. So a sub n, the nth term of a geometric sequence, is a0, which is the first term, times r to the n minus 1. All right, so we already found our r value. We said r equals 1 third. a sub 0 is the first term. So our first term is 54. So that's our a sub 0. So that means that our general formula should be a sub n equals 54 times our common ratio, 1 third, raised to the n minus 1. Now before you go ahead and circle choice 4, which should be the right answer, let's verify that this actually works. So we have three terms that we can experiment with. Let's try a couple of them. So what's the value of the first term? Well, the first term should be a sub 1. And we can find out what that is using our handy formula. So it should come out to be 54, right? Let's see if it does. 54 times 1 third to the what's n in this case this is a sub 1 so n equals 1 so 1 minus 1 well 1 minus 1 is 0 so you have 1 third to the 0 anything raised to the 0 power is 1 so this whole thing equals 54 times 1 which is 54 so it works and that's always the case whatever the a 0 term is since the first term is raised to the a to the n minus 1 that's always going to be 0 r to the 0 is always going to be 1 and that's why the first term, a sub 0, equals a1. That's kind of how it works. And just for completeness, we'll check one more, and you'll see that it works. So a sub 2 should be 54 times the common ratio, 1 third, raised to the 2 minus 1. So that is 54 times 1 third to the 1, which is 54 times 1 third, which is 18 and A3 will work as well. So the best choice is 4.